So yeah, it's been a month. Um, I noticed the breakage on October 29th. It's now November 29th. And I feel like this is some good growth for one month. It's, pretty, it's doing pretty good for me. Like I feel like the um, oils that I'm using and what I've been doing has been definitely helping. But we'll see what happens, you know, for the future next month the month after that and a month after that let's see what happens but as of right now for one month pretty good hey guys this is an update in regards to my hair journey setback um if you haven't seen that video i'll go ahead and link it down below and put it in the end cards Pretty much what happened was I noticed the breakage and um, it was in the front area. So I started babying that area. I told you guys I would baby that area and try to get it back to health. I'm guessing it was due to stress. I pretty much know it was due to stress. Um, so what I've been doing is just spraying my um, edges with water and then putting a leave-in conditioner that has protein in it onto that area and then sealing it with Jamaican black castor oil mix that I made, which I can also link down below for you guys. Um, that's been helping. As you can see, my edges are flourishing. I feel like I just have like this little section right here that needs to grow in. And then on this side, it's pretty much this whole area. <laughs> This whole area, girl, I know you can see it as see-through, girl. Um, that whole area needs to come in, but she coming in because it's definitely, if you look at the other video, a lot more thicker um, than what it was before. I feel like my stress levels right now after the election and everything are lower. I've been trying to surround myself with things that make me happy. Like right now, I am using my mickey mouse cup to drink some hot chocolate i don't want to spill it but it's hot chocolate in there my whipped cream melted um but yeah i've been just trying to surround myself with people friends and family of course being safe about it because covid is still around and whatever um but just keeping myself uppity my normal self so that you know not only mentally and physically I can be healthy, but also as far as my hair. Because, girl, don't nobody want to have a head full of hair and no edges. Like, girl, no. Nah. So, that is pretty much what I've been doing to bury, ba bury, girl, bye. Um, baby, my edges so that, you know, the growth can come back in. Um... I'm still on the Hairlicious Castor Oil Challenge, so what I was thinking to myself is after the challenge has ended, I'm going to go back. The BB Maximum Strength Supergirl Conditioner, it's like a grease, what we like to call a grease, um, but I was using that, I believe, 2014-2015 um on my edges and i don't remember when i stopped using it but i did and i feel like i should not have i was using it nightly and i'll insert a picture at the end of this video um to let you guys know what i'm talking about and i'll also link it down below um and also insert a picture of what my edges looked like during the time that i was actually using the product I was definitely using it nightly and like I always say I've not been one to have full edges but um, it definitely you know kept the hair that's there you know looking and feeling good um, and fuller and I think it has castor oil in it I'm not sure I'm gonna have to check but I was using that it was definitely working so I'm going to go back to that once the castor oil challenge is over because I want to see how this castor oil challenge goes before I go ahead and dive right into using another product and then not really know if the castor oil challenge is really for me. I mean, I'm loving the castor oil challenge. Girl, if you have not seen my update, I'll link that down below as well and leave it in the end cards. But it's definitely working for me, but I just want to see what's going on with my edges with it before i like incorporate something else you know what i mean so yeah i'm gonna do that and start using that product again once this challenge is over january 5th and that's pretty much all i had to say to you guys and show you guys 
these edges they coming in this side faster than this side we gonna work on this side though baby that side a little bit more i did also start babying the nape uh because i can't see back there and i don't know what's going on back there and i normally notice what's going on back there when i straighten so I just started babying that area too. Same thing, putting water, the leave-in, and then um, the oil to seal it, but not using a cream because I don't want to clog my follicles because I'm not washing my hair as often as I was before. I'm washing my hair, co-washing or washing every two weeks. So yeah. Cast on Real Channel is just lit. We're coming up on two months. So I'll do an updated video on that soon once we do hit the two month mark. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Edges is trying to flourish. This side we got to work on a little bit more than this side and we going to get there. And hopefully me putting out this video is going to help someone out there get their edges back. So yeah, I'll link everything needed to know in the description box below also if you like my shirt i'll leave the link down below and this necklace that i got or chain whatever you want to call it with my name on it i'll go ahead and link the company down below as well and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section or hit me up on twitter or ig i answer all of my comments and all of my dms uh, so you can do that as well. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.